What's up everybody, my name is Rick Rich and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do the outline effect. And this is the clip we're going to use. I'm going to make sure this is in the description so you can follow along. All right, so I want the point where he's going to jump. So that's going to be here. And I'm going to cut this clip and I'm going to hold Alt, drag this up. So I've got two layers because this is where I want this to start. So now we need to find the effect and you can search it or you can just scroll here because we are going to find the edge detect effect and we're going to drop that onto the clip and now this is what we see. So with the clip selected, we're going to the inspector tab, click effects and then change the mode from RGB edges to grayscale edges that makes everything a lot clearer. Then we'll need to go back to video and there's something we need to change because I want to get rid of all this black. So for that, we need to change composite mode to screen. And then this is what we see. We still see the edges right here. And we're going to enhance that. So let's go to effects. And then we've got the brightness here and we can crank that up to around 3.3 in this case. It'll probably depend on the scenery that you're using. And I'm going to keep the edge color on white, but you can change it any color you like. And the reason I'm going for white is because I've got a lot of colors here anyways, orange, red, We've got some blues a lot, so it doesn't make sense to use those colors, but you can customize that in case you want to. So let's go back to the video and let's make sure we're on the first frame and let's select the keyframe because we will be zooming in in a minute. So now let's go to the end point, which is around here in my case. I'm going to create another keyframe and then we need to make sure we're on the clip itself, right mouse button and then go to read time curve. We see this menu popping up where we can change all things so let's go to the first frame and let's change the zoom a little bit so let's make this 1.2 and then with the first keyframe selected i want to click this button to make it more smooth we've got a point over here that we can use to drag it out and now we've got this nice little curve and with the second keyframe we can do the same thing so we're going to use the smoother one smoothen that out just a little bit there you go. And then let's close this by clicking this symbol. And I want to fade this out a little bit. And the best way how to do this is to drag it all the way to the end of the clip if you want to, because that will really sell the effect. So that's around here. Now let's play this effect and see how it looks. And the reason for the fading is because if you don't use the fading, you will still see this effect, but without the zoom, because the keyframe will be set to one again. So that's very important to make sure that it looks a lot better. And that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, check that playlist over there, and I'll see you next time. Doei!